This is Susan Leventero. Capricorn, this is going to be your reading. You are showing up in a lot of readings. So, uh, I feel like that is some kind of planetary shift that's getting ready to change. Okay, so I feel like, okay, what is that? The Venus energy is getting ready to shift, I think, in your energy. Okay, so... Let's kind of dig in since you were showing up in a lot of readings. Okay, so let's see what's going on with that. Aquarius, right. Okay, so there's going to be a transit. Okay. All right, so with that... Okay, here's Aries. Okay, hold on a second. The sun. Pisces. Libra. The eighth house. Chiron. Aquarius came out twice. Okay. Uranus energy. Okay, Uranus showed up. Okay, so I feel like that's the, the transition. Okay, so let's put that there. I'll probably hit that first. Okay, Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so Pisces, opposition of that would be Virgo energy. Okay. Let's see, Saturn cause and effect, right? And then the mystery. Okay. Okay. Now, before I get started, I want to say, okay, I feel like this is a call to give everyone the benefit of doubt, right? When things happen. Okay. So, um, so that might take active forgiveness and leaning on the side of compassion and kindness and love, right? Okay, staying in that pure positive energy no matter what has happened or uh, like any kind of things that you think happened to you or against you, right? Okay, so... Now, the key is, moving forward, is this pure positive energy, Capricorn. Uh, tune into your emanation, your light. Okay, within. Now, some of you, it was like, I'm picking up in the past, it was like abuse of power. Okay, some of you used your fame. To kind of manipulate that fire energy. Okay. Now, to be on the compassionate side, I feel like there are some substances involved. Okay. In some cases, alcohol and perhaps uh, some other things that I, I, I'm not going to go into. But... Um, so there's that too, right? Moving forward, <clears throat> keeping a clear mind is also watching out what you ingest or breathe in, right? Okay, so I felt like some of you followed your animal nature, your fiery nature, and, um, and then it was like trying to protect yourself in the end, that's what I felt like. Okay, so there were some entanglements there with that. Some of you, 
that venturing out affected your marriage. Okay. Or your loving union. And there were some intense exchanges. Okay, so moving forward, then we forgive others in ourselves, right? And we forgive self and others. Okay. Right. And then that was part of the transformation with that Pluto energy, right, that came in. And you're finding balance and stability again. Okay, seeking harmony. For some of you, that looked like uh, getting back together. For some of you, it was needing to move on. Okay, it was like a new, entering a new cycle, okay, in a higher vibration. And some were open to that change to move with you, and some, in some cases, uh, they weren't, right? Okay. All right, so some of you wanted to connect with people on a higher level, okay, passionate level, intense level. Uh, it's like transforming energy, okay. Now, if you were using this energy to kind of get back, okay, so um, you would need to bring in that healing, by tuning into that pure energy within your heart, your non-physical energy within, to align again. And this will give you new growth. Tapping into that high. That higher self, right? Yeah, tapping into your higher self. And I feel like that is the new you. With this Aquarius and Uranus. You're reaching for new on the edge, the leading edge energy, to bring into some manifestations that nobody has seen before. And in order to do that, you have to... Take your fire energy and focus it on something other than energy that's just below the belt, right? Okay. So it's like taking that fire energy in order to be the leader, right? The Aries energy. Be the leader and bring in this new expansion. You would take that and... Uh, and bring it into manifestation. But if you were out doing other things on the back burner here now. Uh, and you try to bring that into the future again. Uh, there's that potential to repeat that cycle. So if you're still having discussions about the past. Okay. Due to the due process and court cases and things like that. The key is to stay in that high energy. And stay tuned in every day to that non-physical you. And uh, that could be naps, meditation, walks, me time, self time, spa time, you know, fun time, you know, just moving in your happiness. Okay. So there was some cause and effect. And for some of you that you still are... are don't know why that happened. Okay, so here it is. It's so that it could show you to use your fire in a positive way to move it into this new expansion that you're getting ready to go into. And not being sucked in, not being sucked in by the, uh, negative aspects of uh, others, other extensions. Okay, so it's like holding your own energy. Okay, 
So you're going to be thinking outside the box. And in order to do that, you're going to need to um, be a master at your focus, right? So the other thing that I would bring into this mix is, okay, becoming a master, a manager of your emotional scale, right? Okay. Um, because your opposite sign, which is cancer, okay, so, um, but it's coming up as Pisces. So, um, what I'm feeling is this may be the more balanced version right now of the water. Okay, so that's what I think the message is. Okay, so it's like balancing out that, uh, Emotional scale. You can play any note, right? You can play any note. Balancing out that emotional scale. No one has control or manages your emotions but you, right? So you can move it that way. Only take in, that was a message here in Pisces today. Only take in what is going to assist you, right? So you don't have to take bring everything to your... Uh, if something's painful, don't bring it in. That's the message for that Pisces reading today. Okay, so. All right, so the other thing is, too, every day we are, um, we can be choose to be an empty, empty vessel to uh, bring messages to other aspects. So if... For example, something, let's say some incidents happened, some incident happened, like they're showing me in the past, right? And then, uh, and then your version is different in, uh, than their version of what happened. And you don't recollect that it was even you. Okay. And part of that could have been some were using substances, like, you know, things that would um, not bring in clarity, right? Okay, so, um, there's that too. But the key is to understand that every day is a new day. And, uh, we don't have to continue to drag the past, okay, into the future. All right. So I feel like that's why that Uranus energy is showing up here. You're trying to reach for the new. Okay. And what I see is that you're successful at it. And I leave you with that, Capricorn. Thank you.